How to prepare beef wellington. These are the ingredients you're going to need. 6 to 800 grams of beef fillet trimmed of fat, 3 to 400 grams of puff pastry, 75 grams of butter, 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil, one beaten egg, salt and pepper, 50 grams of plain flour, 250 grams of finely chopped button mushrooms, one small onion, one diced clove of garlic, one teaspoon of sage and thyme, 25 grams of breadcrumbs, one large chicken breast minced, and these are the utensils you'll need. One frying pan, one heavy skillet, one baking tray, one pastry brush, one spatula, and one spoon. Step 1. To start, you need to trim the fillet of excess fat and cut it to size. Then season it with salt and pepper. Step 2. Now you need to sear the meat. This means browning it well on all sides for about 5 minutes in the skillet with oil and butter. When it's done, put it aside to cool down while you prepare the stuffing. Step 3. Cook the finely chopped mushrooms in the frying pan. Cook the mushrooms until soft, but not completely finished. Now, add the onions and the garlic. Then cook for another 5 minutes or so until done. Finally, sprinkle the herbs over and stir in well. Now, transfer the mixture to a bowl or tray to cool down. You should keep the pastry in the fridge until you need it and make sure the mushrooms and onions are quite cool before you spread them. Step 4. Sprinkle some flour on a clean, dry surface on which to place the pastry. Step 5. Now you can combine the minced chicken with the mushrooms, onions and herbs. Do it in a blender if you have one and spread the mixture evenly on the pastry, leaving a 10 cm border of pastry clear. Step 6. You can now place the fillet on the pastry ready for wrapping. Place it in the centre and wrap over the pastry to make a neat parcel trimming the excess pastry. Step 7. Place the wrapped fillet with the join of the pastry underneath in a buttered baking tray and brush the beaten egg onto the pastry to give it a nice golden glaze when baked. It is now ready to bake, but first you must leave it in the fridge for half an hour to rest and cool completely. Step 8. After a good half hour has elapsed, place the baking tray in the centre of an oven which has been preheated to 250 degrees centigrade and leave it for 35 minutes. Step 9. Cooking for 5 minutes more will make it medium and 5 minutes less for rare. Now you need to let it rest for 10 minutes after you take it out of the oven before you cut it. Carve the beef wellington into slices approximately 10 centimeters thick and serve two per person. And that is Beef Wellington, the video jug way.